Hi everyone, Nicholas Buffett is here from Sunny Cyprus and today's video tutorial is all about Microsoft Forms. Why? Because Forms is awesome. As educators, we've grown to love Forms because it's just so easy to create a form and collecting the data is even easier. In fact, we don't have to do anything. So what's this tutorial about? Well, essentially it's about a particular feature many people don't realize actually exists in Forms. And that is the ability to be able to see the collection of data coming in live into your Excel spreadsheet. So as soon as somebody clicks submit in the form, that data is collected. But the main way most people go and see those results, they have to go to their Office 365 account, click on forms, review the results or download the Excel spreadsheet every time to see new results. You don't have to do that. You can actually have Excel open on your desktop app or whenever you open it, it will be totally updated. But if you do have the Excel um, worksheet or workbook open, you will actually see the entries coming in automatically as people submit. Now, this is, I think, a really awesome feature because when we are expecting to collect some results, either from students or from a survey, we tend to keep going back to log in and see whether somebody else has submitted. Well, now you can just sit there and just watch all the entries drop in. Not only that, if you have any formulas included in your Excel spreadsheet, those formulas will automatically be updated as the entries drop in. How awesome is that? Now, enough talking. I'm going to first show you the problem and then I'm going to show you the solution. We can see the solution involves forms and OneDrive. You don't really have to work with both. It's just the way the mechanics will work so you get a better understanding. Before we begin, this will be a good opportunity for you to click like and subscribe so you can stay updated with the new videos that I post. Let's get started. Okay, so here I am. I've got a Microsoft form open. This is one which I've already generated. This is one uh, based on uh, feedback on my video tutorials for my students. So when I make video tutorials for my students to help them prepare for their examinations, I, I tend to give them this form so that they can fill in and just give me some feedback to see how I can actually improve those videos or if there's something that they feel that was missing or give me some advice on that. So this is something which I started new. You can see I've got here 17 responses already. That's not the point. What I want to do is just show you where the issue is about seeing this data completed live. Now, this form was created the classic way. That was by going into my Office 365 account. From here, I went to forms. And instead of a quiz, I chose a new form and I generated this form the classic way that I think everybody knows how to do. From here now, what I want to do is to show you that if I want to see if I've got any new responses, if any other student has actually submitted uh, another response, I would have to come here to my form. I would have to go to responses and see how many responses I've got. And if I want to see this is in an Excel spreadsheet, I'm going to click here in open in Excel. That's going to download my Excel file here. So if I just jump over here quickly, you can see that's been downloaded. Here it is here. And if I double click to open this, you can see my responses in Excel. And I'm just going to click on enable editing. OK, now that's all well and good. But for me, this is an issue and for quite a few people, because what's going to happen now, I need to come to this page here to this screen. Now, here I've got the form open for me to actually submit another submission, let's say. So this is me, a student, and I'm just going to submit this. And we're going to see in this screen here where I've got this open, that's going to become 18. But then when I go to the Excel sheet here, it's not going to add that extra record. I'm going to have to download it again. So let's just see this in action. So here's my form. I'm just going to complete this very quickly. And this is not compulsory. And I'm going to click on Submit. In fact, I'm going to drag this up into the other window. And as soon as I click on Submit, we should see that become an 18. So let's just go to Submit. There you go. Can you see? That's changed to 18. And that means I just had another response. And that's great. That's what we expect that we all know. But when I go over to this screen here, you can see that is still on 18. And it doesn't matter how long I wait, this is not going to update. Even if I close this window, we can, and I open this downloaded Excel spreadsheet again, it's just not going to have the extra data there for me. Okay, And this is where the issue is. So if I wanted to have this open and see my entries coming in, 
directly from my Excel sheet without having to log into 365, I can't do that. So how do we fix this? Well, I'm going to close this. I'm going to delete that file. And just to show you, if I did want to uh, see my Excel file, I will click on this again, open in Excel. That's going to download it again. There it is. It's downloaded it again. You can see it's one of 18 now. And if I open that, I will be able to see, there you go, my other entry, which is here. And if I scroll over, there you go. The feedback I gave was the word feedback. And, you know, I'm going to have to just keep on doing this again and again. And the other bad thing is I can't put formulas here to be updated because every time I download the Excel file, it's going to have to download a new version of it, of the, of the Excel workbook. And I'm going to have to add my formulas again. So let's solve this issue. And we're now going to look at how to create a form so that we can see live update in Excel. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to learn how to create the form. What we're not going to do is this. We're not going to go to 365 and open forms and create the form from here. That's what we're not going to do. What we are going to do is this. We're going to go to our 365 account online. We're going to go to OneDrive. From here, we need to find the folder where we're going to save our spreadsheet or our workbook. I've got a folder here called questionnaire and this is where I want to create the workbook, the Excel workbook which is going to collect all those responses. Now notice by creating the Excel workbook first I've got access to that workbook where all the responses are going to drop in. At the top here where it says new and here's the trick I'm going to click on that and I'm going to say forms for Excel and as soon as I click on this and it's going to ask me what to call the form. I'm going to call this rate the ICT lesson and click create. Look at that. It automatically opens forms for me. Nothing special about that, but have a look. If I go back to my OneDrive, it's actually created the Excel workbook, which is going to store all the data from the submissions. OK, so let's go and create the form. Now, I'm going to fast forward this. I'm going to create the form, but I'm going to fast forward this so we don't make this video too long. OK, so I've created a very simple form. Three questions. Basically, did you learn something new? Score the lesson out of 10. And how hard or easy was it to keep up with the lesson or follow the lesson? I'm going to just modify my collect responses so that anybody can respond to this, making it anonymous, but it allows me to actually test this form very quickly. So what's the purpose of this? Well, let's go and add some submissions very quickly. So I'm going to go to the preview and I'm just going to add a yes, give this a score out of, uh, let's say, eight there. I'm going to say it was neutral, submit. And when I go back, I can see, look at that, I've got one response already. And of course, th this is nothing new. Let's just go add a few more just so we get some uh, some data in there. And I'm going to go back and do another preview. This time I'm going to put no, uh, rate the lesson. It was three. It was extremely hard to follow. And do one more preview. Again, no. Um, put that there. Say it was neutral. Submit. And I'm just going to leave that there. So what we get is what we normally see in a normal form if we create it through forms and not through forms for Excel. The responses are here. And I've also got the option to download the Excel file. Now, if I download the Excel file, it's exactly the same issue as we've seen the problem before. That Excel file is not going to update because we download it every time we click on that. However, I don't need to do that. Why? Because here in this Excel workbook here, all my responses have already been collected. Let's have a look. And there are my responses. So what's the purpose? Well, I'm going to show you first using Excel online, and then I'm going to show you some other little things using Excel using the application. So let's have a look at this data being updated automatically for us. So if I click here, I'm going to go to preview. and Let's just have a look here. We've got, we can see there are four responses, one, two, three, four. 
And I'm just going to add one more. Yes, I'm going to give that score of 10. That was easy. I'm going to click on submit and go very quickly over here. And there you go. Can you see that? It automatically populated. I can see that. This is really easy because we're on the online version of OneDrive. But if you've also got OneDrive synced to your desktop using the OneDrive application, then this Excel file has already synced to your OneDrive. And let's go have a look and see what that looks like. Okay, so you can see here, here's my file which has been synced with my OneDrive application. Now, if I double click on this here, okay, I'm just going to drag this over here for you. There it is there. And you can see all my five responses have already been updated. Now, before I show you this updating automatically, I'm going to add a couple of formulas. I'm going to add a chart. And we're going to see how all of these things are updated automatically. So I'm just going to scroll over to this. So I'm going to minimize some of these here, the widths of all these columns. And let's just drag. That's my lesson rating out of 10. Actually, let's just leave that a bit bigger so we can see what column that is. And I'm just going to minimize that a bit. And this one here, did you learn something new? So I'm going to do a couple of formulas here very quickly. I'm going to write here, yes. I'm going to write here, no. And here I'm going to, and I'm not going to teach you the formulas, guys. I've got other tutorials. If you go to my channel, there's a playlist there where it teaches you all, all about formulas and how to work with Excel. I'm just going to do a quick count if function here, equal to count if. And my range is going to be, you know, I want to do how many people said that they found the, uh, the lesson easy to follow and, and um, whether they learned something new. So I want to see how many people said yes, how many people said no. So the range is going to be the F column. So that's going to be from F to F. Close the, uh, press a comma there. And I'm going to say I want all the ones where it said yes. And there's my result three. And I'm going to just do the same again. I'm just going to copy that formula and do the same for no. Control V. And just change that entry there to no. So I can see here, three said yes, two said no. That's easy to uh, count from here, and I know that works. I'm going to do one more just to show you some averages. So I'm just going to do average. And I want the average of uh, column G, which is going to be, you know, how much they've rated the lesson. So it's going to be from G to G. And the reason I'm putting it for G to G is I want the, the entire column. So just put an equals in front of that, because that's the J4 equals. Here we go. And as it starts adding more and more rows from my entries, it's actually going to include all the new entries in these formulas. So that's my average. And I'm just going to drag that over there and just write average. Okay, the last thing that I want to do is I want to add a little chart. So I want a little pie chart here to display the yes, no um, comparison. So I'm going to just select this data here. I'm going to go to insert. Again, I'm not going to go into details about how to create charts and so on. But there you go. There's my chart. I'm just going to make that a bit smaller and put that there. All right. So why did I do this? Well, let's go and submit another response. So this is the Excel file, which is now on my desktop. It's synced in my OneDrive. I don't need to log into my 365 account to access this. It's directly on my OneDrive application synced on my desktop. So let's go back to submitting a response. Preview. I'm going to put a yes. I'm going to put a 10 here. I'm going to say that was extremely easy. Let's just get that, um, that uh, the rating, the average up. I'm going to click on submit. So what it's going to do is as it's sitting here, it's actually going to synchronize this data. You're going to see the next data pop up. Now, if you just want to get that, oh, look, I just clicked in here and automatically it popped up. Isn't that perfect? And look, that's now gone to an average 7.166667. The yeses are now four, no's are two, and my chart has also changed automatically. Let's do one more, because so I want to show you how you can force it to sync if you want faster results. So you can see I'm on number seven here. I'm going to do another preview. So just do another yes, and let's just bump up that average a bit more. Um, and just put, let's say, neutral now, and then click on submit. And now we can go back here. And if I just wait here now, that should, oh, it's already populated. I did actually want it to delay a bit, but there you go. 
Um, as soon as you click inside this Excel sheet, it actually automatically sends a signal to synchronize your data with the online version. If you don't click anywhere inside your Excel sheet or do something, then it might take a bit longer. If you want to force it to sync, all you have to do is click on this button up here, which will force it to save and synchronize straight away. And that will get your data there automatically and quickly as you want it. Now, that's just absolutely fantastic. The last thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to close this Excel file. I'm going to add one more entry. Preview. And I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click on no. So we increase the no's. I'm going to put that down to one there. I'm going to say it was extremely hard. I'm going to submit. Okay. And I'm just going to go back. I'm going to have a look at some of the results here. So you can see I've got a rating here of 6.75 for the average. Now, I did an average in my Excel workbook as well. So I should have a 6.75 there. So let's go have a look. I'm going to go back to my file. I'm going to double click on it. Automatically, it should synchronize. And look at that. You just saw, you might have just caught a glimpse of that changing 6.75. There's my latest entry added. My chart has been updated. What more can you ask for? Forms is awesome and having it linked with an Excel workbook so that it updates the data live for you. You can do all the background work really easily and quickly. Have your formulas in there, your charts. So whenever you need it, you just click. It's there. You don't have to sit there working to create all this data or your charts after you've collected all the data. Now, if you've learned something new, you've enjoyed this video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you again in the next tutorial. Take care. Bye-bye.